Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are going to make button potato in gravy so for that we need two medium size onion to half fry them first and then half bulb of garlic and then the same amount of ginger you can take one and a half tablespoon heaped ginger so first we'll half fry them and then we'll continue further let's slice the onion first and then the mutton is half kg with bones now we will half fry 250 grams of onion when they are pink then we are going to add ginger and garlic now my onions are frying so to save time i am blending six red chilies half bulb of garlic and one tablespoon heaped ginger let's blend them very little water now here is the blend of our ginger garlic and red chilies we need bright red color in our gravy so those red chilies they are not going to give us bright red color so here i have soaked one kashmiri red chilies or you can say paprika soaked i'm gonna blend it sieve it and then this is going to give our gravy red color let's start here goes in here goes the paprika blend you can see how thick the consistency is and the color let's see it now this is the husk we don't need it but this we need the thick bright red paste that is going to give our gravy the color it needs one and a half tablespoon of dry whole coriander seeds i'm gonna powder them here comes the powder freshly blend it this is our half fry onion let it cool a little then we'll blend it here goes in our onion for blending here comes our half fried onion blend it now let's keep the onion aside blend it we need around 150 to 170 gram yogurt this we have to blend it to smooth consistency one small tomato i'm going to blend onion i have set aside and then from 150 to 170 gram of yogurt i need that i'm gonna blend to smooth consistency now after the Seep. this is uh, seeds and the skin of tomato that we don't need and this is the extract this is the same oil in which we had fried the onion now first go uh, first the uh, whole spices are going to go in two sticks of synonyms one star anise eight cloves half teaspoon white cumin and these are two black cardamom i have de-seeded them because they go in whole and the seeds i'm going to powder them they will go into the yogurt along with it they will go into the gravy let's start one sour spices start to crack goes one teaspoon of turmeric powder give it a good stir and add our half kg mutton you can use veal you can use chicken whatever your choice of meat is here i'm going to use half kg mutton with bone stir fry it a little when it changes color then add in your ginger garlic and red chili paste and keep stirring as you can see little oil is separating from the meat so we are adding tomatoes and keep stirring it when tomatoes are half cooked then i'm going to add my dry coriander now our onions were half cooked so i did not add them at the starting now at this this stage i'm going to add my blended half fried onions just enough water i'm adding 
so that the meat is half tender and then i'm going once it's half done then we'll add uh, yogurt along with dry coriander uh, black cardamom seeds close it let it uh, close the lid and then let it tender cook i have added 120 ml water goes one teaspoon salt and then the lid closed till it's half done I'm going to powder these seeds from two black cardamom then they are going to be added into our 150 gram yogurt here they go in along with half teaspoon garam masala give it a good stir now for half kg meat we need to 250 gram medium sized three potatoes I'm slicing them line lengthwise. Here they are. Now you can see the meat is half done. At the corner you can see the oil as well has started separating from the bones. Now at this stage it's not fully cooked yet. It's quarter left. So I'm going to add my yogurt with cardamom seeds and half teaspoon garam masala along with it extract of half paprika goes inside now we are going to stir fry it till this yogurt is fully cooked and the meat is tender then we are going to add our potatoes 250 gram all right friends here you can see there is no moisture in the gravy now oil has been separated now at this stage you can see it's cooked thoroughly the meat is tender now at this stage we are going to add 500 ml water along with 250 gram potatoes 500 ml water the amount of water we need to keep because after this we are not going to add any water this is what going to make our soup now we are adding our potatoes in it here it goes lid close and then once the potatoes are tender because meat is already been cut then we'll show you the final result picture you can see the meat is tender and so are the potatoes Try it and share your experience with me. Thank you.